Hello, everyone. Whoops. Hold on. I'm trying to make my view a little smaller here. There we go. Okay. Today we are going to do uh, prized peony. And I have a little bit of a headache. So I, I did take something for it, but we'll see. Um, I do want to remind you to use the, oh my gosh, that's the May host code. That's actually June. Uh, let me check it out real quick. Let me sign in to my site. And make sure nope that is the May host code so we will take that down I will give you the June host code hold on I totally wasn't ready. Forgot to change that. T G E K G Okay, I will show you the host code in just a second. I just need a couple of announcements. Let me go down to the desktop. June 14th is coming up, so if you want to have a class, please let me know. Um, you get an extra $25 if you have a class that is $250 plus you get the 10% reward so that's $50 total okay um, I always remind you of the kits stampinup.com slash kits um, stampin up does not have kits in their catalog anymore okay so they are available now so that you can get to them and if you want to subscribe to paper pumpkin july 10th is the last day that you can subscribe for the july um, one June is already on its way and well that was for June so we're done with that okay here is the June host code I will leave it up here in the corner and I wanted to show you the prize peony Oh my goodness, I took the prize peony stamp set. There are um, thoughts for so sorry for your loss and my thoughts are with you. Um, your sweet friendship refreshes the soul, love and thanks to a dear friend. And then of course the peonies and some leaves and there's actually a texture in there as well 
and these are the dies. They are sold separately this year. These are the dies that are in there and I have a couple of them out already because we're going to be using them. I did want to show you how the peony goes together. These are the separate dies for the prize peony. Okay, and there is a um, stamen that goes in to this one. And you'll notice that they all have the same loop. So you slide the smaller one into the bigger one and you can um, kind of, let's see, you can kind of make it so that it is like a 3D. And then this goes to the back and this one goes to the front and I ripped that one sorry and then this one goes to the back and this part goes to the front and there you have a 3d peony and you can stick them all together with glue or with um, your stamp and seal. Okay, so that is how that flower goes together. And I have a couple of cards here to show you. Let me get that out of the way. Um, this one will have a white panel in it. I just didn't get to put that in there and this is made with the small um, the small peony right here and this one is made with stamping on the background and then I uh, put that peony together but I put it together flat. So, and then there's leaves that have um, decor, the, oh my goodness, they have, anyway, <laughs> they ha have counter color. Okay, and this is the first one that I made. This is what we're going to learn today. And there is inside, so sorry for your loss. Okay, this fits in a six by six envelope. I played around with it and made it so that it would fit into a regular envelope and we still have some place to sign and I had a little difficulty with the triangles here with the color I decided that I just like the leaves so and that fits into a regular envelope okay so we are going to work with Misty Moonlight and I already have the card already um, scored, okay? So let's go ahead and close that up before I
get going. We're going to cut from this score line to the center of this card and I have a little tick mark already there. It's a little hard to see on this paper. So this is what you do to get your diamond. And then there are tick marks on both sides here and on the end here. And I will have all of the measurements on my blog later today. So that is how we get ooh, that is how we get the card. Evidently, uh, my tick marks were not at the right place. Let me go ahead and fix that. And let's see, now it's perfect. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't mark them correctly, so I will make sure that that is corrected. All right, so we're going to fold this one down. And we're gonna set this aside for just a moment. We need to do some stamping. And then we will do some cutting. Let me make sure I have all of my stuff. Okay, so we're going to stamp with Misty Moonlight across the bottom of this. And no leaves. is our sentiment your sweet friendship refreshes the soul uh, we need to stamp let's see we need to wipe this off a little bit. And what we're going to do is use our Stampin' Right markers so that I can have green leaves. Misty Moonlight. And just cover it up. Okay. And here is our part where we're going to
And that's how you get your green leaves on your uh, on your flower. Let's go ahead and clean that up. Okay, let's set that aside. And we're going to actually stamp with this one because that one's going to go on the front and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp off so that I have a lighter blue and then we're going to stamp our leaves And I'm using all the same ones. There we go. I'm sure we don't need that many. And now we will bring in our little stamp and cut and emboss machine. Oh, I forgot my pad. And you can tell I hadn't taken them out yet. Okay. So we need number one, number two, and number two. And hmm, have to cut these out. Okay. number two and I did not buy the magnetic one for this well, let me see how does this go on oh there it is it's a little sticky and then this one is easy because it's got the leaves sticking out and we will go ahead and crank them through One of my um, pro, uh, magic moment painted poppies one, so I uh, keep track of where they're at. Okay, so we're going to go back, and I should have cut these out. I should have cut these out of beforehand. Let me see. It might be quicker to cut them out with my um, scissors.
Sorry, it's taking so long. I think what I'm going to do is cut them out with my scissors. It'll be quicker. But you can see how the embossing machine cuts them. And we have one last piece, and that is this piece. And they all fit into this machine. Yay! I'm pulling it back towards me because I can see it then. pop out all these holes. These are all pieces parts. And I'm going to cut these leaves out. And they won't have a border. This is a lot faster. Now, had I thought about it, I would have used the dies earlier and cut them out. Okay, so that's all of my cutting out, and we have one last thing to do. Now, I, um, okay, I cut my diamonds, I made a template, okay? because the um, fold is so weird, okay? So I made a template and these are going on the main card and then these are going to be cut down by a quarter inch. So I'm going to make sure that I cut them all down on all sides. Hi Colleen, hi Cindy. So this needs to be cut down as well so that it fits um, with a border. And that's why I made my template um, just one size. So I knew that I would be doing this. Okay. So that's all the cutting. 
All right, now we're going to put together. Okay, so this is going to go here and it's going to need to be cut down. I didn't cut it down correctly. We'll just take a quarter inch off. There we go. So we have a nice border. I'm trying to keep this a low maintenance card. So that's the front. And then we're going to Sorry. My tape. Holy Hannah. It's stuck. There we go. All right, I'm trying to keep this under 30 minutes, but that's not going to happen. All right, so and you can hear my folks. My husband and my mother chatting. Okay. So this one is going to go here. And evidently I didn't cut that right either. I don't know what I did. I did all the measurements. So this one Okay. My measurements are way off. Maybe that's what it is. They need the border. Okay, my measurements are way off on this. Okay, so what we're going to do is trim this down. Trim this down. on all sides. And we'll make it fit. There we go. Make 
making sure that I have an even border all the way around. And this is going to go up and I will correct all my measurements so that they are proper for your card. This is going to go right there and that is what's going to make it stand up. And I have um, the backing on uh, adhesive backing on this. Okay, so I need to get the adhesive backing off. And that is going to go flat on here. And then this goes up on dimensionals. And before I do that, I need to make sure that this gets put. <sighs> my brain, my brain is a little fried from my headache. Okay, so that goes in the side, and then the leaves are going to go on with a little bit of glue. So now we'll just put this in the center and there you have your card. 35 minutes, sorry it took so long and I will fix all of these measurements, I promise. And it fits into a regular size envelope. There you go. I I really like this purple one. And I did the same measurements on all of this, so I don't know what went wrong. <laughs> but there you have it. Oh my goodness, my husband is yelling at the dog. Thank you 
for joining me. Uh, don't forget to use the June host code. If you plan to order anything, thank you for joining me. Let's see. Oh, let's go back to me. And you all have a wonderful uh, weekend. I unfortunately will be attending a funeral tomorrow. So we'll see. Thank you and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.